Hello and welcome to the Excel Cave. Today we're going to talk about the sum product formula with multiple criteria. Um, before I get into that, I just kind of want to recap the sum product formula uh, as it is without criteria. Um, as you can see, the, the inputs for the sum product are arrays, which uh, more specifically are numerical arrays. It has to be numbers, arrays of numbers. Um, so the way it's built, it can only handle numbers. And when you're trying to input criteria into uh, the sum product formula, criteria produces true-false outputs. So that's the roadblock you run into. Um, the sum product formula just can't multiply true-false times uh, your numerical ranges. So to get around that, what you have to do is convert those true-false criteria ranges uh, into their numerical equivalents in Excel, which, as you know, are ones for trues and zeros for false. So it's really just a matter of just uh, inputting your criteria, changing those true-false uh, outputs to ones and zeros. So we'll get started here. Um, in this example, we have a loan portfolio, um, a region of East, and a loan type of automobile as the criteria range we want to get the weighted average interest rate on um, using the sum product. So I'm just going to start by entering the sum product formula. We'll begin the array one with our first criteria range. Um, and as I said earlier, um, we need to convert the true falses from this criteria to their numerical equivalents. To do that, you would begin your criteria with a double negative and enclose your criteria range uh, in parentheses. That's what will convert this uh, to ones and zeros. So our criteria range, our first one is going to be the region, and we're going to say equals the east region. And our second criteria, the exact same thing, begin it with double negatives, and close it in parentheses, is our loan type range. We want it to equal automobile. And now we're on to our numerical ranges which you would just input those like always with the sum product formula just the loan balance and then the interest rate range so you can see we get a sum product of 6037 and now we'll just divide that by the sum ifs of our same criteria so we're going to sum the loan balance. Criteria range 1 is going to be region. Criteria for that range is east. Criteria range 2 is loan type. Criteria for that range is automobile. Now we'll divide our sum product by our loan balance. And you get 6.73%. So now what I want to do is break this formula down um, piece by piece so you can see how it works exactly. Um, if you go into the sum product formula, hit F2. Um, I'm just highlighting the first criteria input um, without the double negatives highlighted and hitting F9 so you can see how this formula works. It, Without the double negatives to convert it, it just shows the true falses. Um, so you can see our first row here, uh, the region is east. That's a true for east. Um, our second criteria range here is also true for that first row because the loan type is automobile. So we have a true true because it matches our criteria. Um, these other ranges here 
they were already in their numerical equivalents, um, so there was no need to convert those. Um, so I'm going to hit escape, go back into it, and now I'm going to circle the criteria with the double negatives in front. And you can see now that's the double negatives converted those true falses to ones and zeros. And the same story for our second criteria range. So you've got that first row, one for true for east, one for true for automobile. And so what this formula does is it says one for true times one for true times 42,735 times 7.846%. So, just want to display this for you down here a little more visually so you can see all the moving parts here. So, what this does is you have a 1 for true for region times 1 for true for loan type times your loan balance times your interest rate. And this, you just drag this formula all the way across here, you can see that gives us our sum product. So, it's just looking, it's converting your criteria, ones for trues, zeros for false, and anything times zero is zero. So um, you can see anything, it has to be a one in both the region and the loan type um, because it meets our criteria, whereas anything that has a zero in either one of these columns or both, it is going to return a zero because it's not a match on both of our criteria. So that's just how that formula works. It's just, like I said, throughout the video, converting your true false criteria to ones and zeros in order to um, convert those so that you can multiply them by your numerical ranges. So that's just a sum product with multiple criteria. Thanks for watching, guys.